Astronomical year numbering is based on AD – CE year numbering, but follows normal decimal integer numbering more strictly. Thus, it has a year zero, the years before that are designated with negative numbers and the years after that are designated with positive numbers. Astronomers use the Julian calendar for years before 1582, including the year zero, and the Gregorian calendar for years after 1582, as exemplified by Jacques Cassini 1740, Simon Newcomb 1898, and Fred Espinac 2007. The prefix AD and the suffixes CE, BC or BCE common era, before Christ or before common era are dropped. The year 1 BC, BCE is numbered 0, the year 2 BC is numbered minus 1, and in general the year N BC, BCE is numbered minus N minus 1, a negative number equal to 1 minus N. The numbers of AD, CE years are not changed and are written with either no sign or a positive sign, thus in general NAD, CE is simply N or plus N. For normal calculation a number zero is often needed, here most notably when calculating the number of years in a period that spans the epoch, the end years need only be subtracted from each other. The system is so named due to its use in astronomy. Few other disciplines outside history deal with the time before year one, some exceptions being dendrochronology, archaeology and geology, the latter two of which use years before the present. Although the absolute numerical values of astronomical and historical years only differ by one before year one, this difference is critical when calculating astronomical events like eclipses or planetary conjunctions to determine when historical events which mention them occurred. <laughs> year zero usage In his Rudolphine Tables 1627, Johannes Kepler used a prototype of year zero which he labeled Christi Christ's between years labeled Antichristum before Christ and post-Christum after Christ on the mean motion tables for the Sun, Moon, Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Venus and Mercury. In 1702, the French astronomer Philippe de la Hire used a year he labeled Christum zero at the end of years labeled Antichristum BC, and immediately before years labeled Post-Christum AD on the mean motion pages in his Tabulae Astronomicae, thus adding the designation zero to Kepler's Christi. Finally, in 1740 the French astronomer Jacques Cassini Cassini II, who is traditionally credited with the invention of year zero, completed the transition in his tables astronomiques, simply labeling this year zero, which he placed at the end of Julian years labeled Avant Jesus Christ before Jesus Christ or BC, and immediately before Julian years labeled Apre Jesus Christ after Jesus Christ or AD. Cassini gave the following reasons for using a year zero. The year zero is that in which one supposes that Jesus Christ was born, which several chronologists mark one before the birth of Jesus Christ and which we marked zero, so that the sum of the years before and after Jesus Christ gives the interval which is between these years, and where numbers divisible by four mark the leap years as so many before or after Jesus Christ. Fred Esponik of NASA lists 50 phases of the Moon within year zero, showing that it is a full year, not an instant in time. Jean Mias gives the following explanation There is a disagreement between astronomers and historians about how to count the years preceding year 1. In astronomical algorithms, the BC years are counted astronomically. Thus, the year before the year plus 1 is the year 0, and the year preceding the latter is the year minus 1. The year which historians call 585 BC is actually the year minus 584. The astronomical counting of the negative years is the only one suitable for arithmetical purpose. For example, in the historical practice of counting, the rule of divisibility by four revealing Julian leap years no longer exists. These years are, indeed, 1, 5, 9, 13 BC. In the astronomical sequence, however, these leap years are called 0, minus 4, minus 8, minus 12, and the rule of divisibility by four subsists. Topic. Signed years without year zero Although he used the usual French terms, avant JC, before Jesus Christ, and après JC, after Jesus Christ, to label years elsewhere in his book, the Byzantine historian Venance Grummel used negative years identified by a minus sign, minus, to label BC years and unsigned positive years to label AD years in a table. 
He did so possibly to save space and put no year zero between them. Version 1.0 of the XML schema language, often used to describe data interchanged between computers in XML, includes built in primitive data types date and datetime. Although these are defined in terms of ISO 8601 which uses the proleptic Gregorian calendar and therefore should include a year zero, the XML schema specification states that there is no year zero. Version 1.1 of the defining recommendation realigned the specification with ISO 8601 by including a year zero, despite the problems arising from the lack of backward compatibility. See also Astronomical chronology Holocene calendar ISO 8601